What is going on, everyone? And welcome back to Cart 63. Uh, thank you very much for stopping back by. I really do appreciate you guys uh, taking time out of your day to watch my videos. And, and hopefully I've been, uh, I've been answering some questions. Maybe some of the new people have had. Maybe just people are curious or you just wanted to watch me on film. I get it. I get it. So, <laughs> uh, I asked and have asked that any video ideas, please put them down in the comments. Uh, shoot me an email. I'm going to start trying to put my email down below in the comments just in case anybody has an idea um, that they'd like to see me try and make a video on. That'd be great. Um, but this, this wasn't an idea from somebody, but it was an idea derived from somebody. And I guess, you know, for somebody new coming into karting, they wouldn't know. Why would you prep the inside of your tire? So, uh, it's not really a demonstration. I have a bag of yellow here. Uh, one of my preferred style of tires as many other racers enjoy them, especially UAS guys. Uh, why would somebody put prep inside of a tire? This, this came from the video, you know, how to put prep inside of your, your tire. And I thought, you know, all right, that's, I get it. Like some people just, they buy a set of tires. They don't know anything about prep. They don't know anything about prepping the inside of tires. I, I showed you how to do it. Now, why would you do it? Um, so I've come up with a couple different uh, things to explain. All right, adding internal prep or external prep for that matter, but we're talking about internal here. Um, this is uh, one composition of rubber. So Vega has taken the time, they've, they've created, uh, you know, they get certain oils, certain, uh, certain rubber, certain this and that, this is a blend. Well, they come up with this compound for a tire and it is this compound. Well, you're not going to change anything about it. You're just going to run the tire. You know, you can surface it. You can, you, maybe you could uh, sip it or something like that. Give you maybe a little more traction or, you know, venting, so to speak. But the compound is the compound. So when you introduce prep from in internally or externally, you are now changing the compound of that tire. You're changing either its elasticity or how much it grips. So wiping the tire from the outside is going to give you uh, a very limited amount of grip. Uh, say you're, you're, you're putting a, a wipe of uh, uh, track tack orange on a tire. Well, that is just going to be fi to fire the tire off, to bring in the tire a little sooner so it grips better throughout the run. Um, but it is wipes from the outside are very limited. You're only penetrating the external layer. So when you prep from the inside, that is actually penetrating from the inside out, so it is getting the entire uh, the entire tread. You understand what I'm saying there? So you've now changed the chemical composition to whatever you see fit. Now, you know when the question gets you know posed, why would you in internal prep a tire to make it do something that the tire manufacturer you know may not have been able to do with just the straight compound? So um, I. I don't really want to get into the debate whether or not you should prep or you shouldn't prep. I can tell you this, that people who uh, prep their tires have an advantage over people who do not prep their tires. Uh, there's there, there's an argument to be made for chassis setup uh, versus how your tires are reacting and whether or not you should do it. But I can tell you that just something as simple as wiping something on the outside uh, is going to gain you something over someone who is not because it's going to bring that tire in quicker. And somebody who internal preps, uh, whether it be a Maxis or a Vag or, you know, Burris, I don't internal prep Burris. You know, I, I said that in the video before. Uh, it's just my preference, but you can. Uh, and, and maybe there is an advantage there to be gained that I'm missing out on. That is, that is very possible. But uh, you, you, you almost have to think of it like that, that, you can be anti-prep all you want, but if you uh, you know you've got the motor, you know you've got the driver, you know you've got the chassis to be equal with your competitors and they're still leaving you, there's one thing that is connecting you to the ground and it is four tires. Now, what is it about their 
uh, tire game that they have an advantage over you. It's not all horsepower. I, I race UAS. I can tell you it is not horsepower. Corner speed is king always. Always. Whether you have 100 horsepower or you have 20 horsepower, corner speed is king. These, these, these things make or break a, a cart chassis, a cart driver, whatever in the corner. And in my opinion, if you don't have at least some sort of prep game, whether it be internal, like I'm explaining today, or external, you're leaving something on the table that your competitors have over you. So uh, I'm going with this. I, I had already shot in a video uh, about this subject and I, I had you know, watched my video a couple times. I didn't it wasn't that it was bad information. I didn't like where I was going with it. And I think I left I left something on the table that I could explain to a new racer. Why would you internal prep a tire? And that is basically it. It is advantage. Uh, it's, it's something new to learn uh, if you're just getting into it. And it is frustrating because you don't know what kind of reaction it is. All I can say is pick a, a, a reputable uh, prep company and with experience, with racers at the tracks that you're going to talk with them, you know, find something and stick with it. Uh, it. It really could be as simplistic as having two, three, four different preps. Nothing crazy, something internal, a couple things external for different circumstances. It doesn't have to be, you know, you don't have to have, you know, an entire cabinet full of preps in order to be competitive. I don't have that. Uh, and I think I'm fairly competitive in what I do. Um, but I think, again, I think you're leaving something on the table if you don't at least attempt to understand why people prep their tires and uh, and how they go about doing that. So, again, I hope uh, I hope this helps somebody. <laughs> it's just, I'll post it up. Uh, I think it's coming out tomorrow. I, I have a schedule for my videos now. I, I try and shoot them ahead of time. So, Syracuse Indoor is today. Uh, I didn't go because it's two hours away. And I just didn't want to get up that early. So <laughs> I appreciate you all for coming by and stopping by again. Uh, if you don't mind, hit a like, hit a subscribe. Uh, the number's growing. I, I think you guys are enjoying these videos. I'm, I'm trying to answer all the comments that get dropped down below. Doesn't mean I always will make a video on your suggestions, but uh, I appreciate the info. It goes into my, my little notes there, and uh, maybe I will someday. So I appreciate you. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by and I'll catch you guys later.